Hey guys, Taylor here, broadcasting another tutorial from Effects and Tutorials. Today we're going to be going into Sony Vegas, and Sony Vegas 7 to be exact, but it can this, this effect that we're going to be doing today can work on all versions of Vegas. So we're just going to be basically messing around with media generators, event pan and crop, keyframing, and a bunch of other basic effects that come with Sony Vegas. So let's get started into this tutorial. So we're going to go to File, New, and just go to the basic basic uh, default template, which is the NTSC DV 720 by 480. Actually, no, yeah, 480 widescreen. Okay, this is probably the best HD template that you could possibly get, and it works really well for HD videos. Okay, so we're going to be messing around mainly with the media generators, and that's where we're going to get our background and animation. So if you don't have media generators, you can get that by going to view and making making sure that media generators is checked. Once it's checked and you have media generators and you can see it, go into the media generators tab and find noise texture. Now, we're going to there's a lot of powerful tools that you have around here, but probably the most powerful one is the standard turbulence. I might make an extended tutorial showing some more of those of the presets and you know messing around with them later, but not right now. Okay, so our new window is going to pop up, and this is basically what we have. Okay, let me explain everything. We have the frequency, which stretches the vi stretches the template out. We have the offset, which basically moves the thing, or not moves, kind of moves it. It, it. It's hard to explain. But I'll explain it later. The noise parameters, which basically just Changes the 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 depth and everything. Okay, the app or amp <laughs> amplitude, which changes how bright and how light the th the video is, and the grain, which is the amplitude fall off, really doesn't do anything. But it basically just affects whatever the amplitude does. Okay, now we also have color A and color B. Color A is for the background, so just make sure that when you change the color A, you're changing the background. When you're changing color B, you're changing the noise texture um, kind of front ground, I guess you could say, or foreground, which is the black line around it. So just make sure you're doing that, or make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing that. And you can change the number of layers, which actually is a really cool and powerful tool. So if you bring that up, you get kind of more of a lightning-y kind of wrinkle in time effect. If you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. It's really cool. Anyway, we're going to get into it. So we're basically just going to be using frequency and progress and degrees and somewhat offset. We're not going to be messing with any of the noise param parameters or anything because it really doesn't do anything. It really just changes, you know, the color and, or not the color, but like how dark it is. We don't really need that, trust me. It it'll still look pretty great. I mean, you can change it if you want to, but it's, it's just like extra things if you want to. But, so first of all, we basically need to go to the frequency and take X and bring that all the way up and bring Y all the way down. Now you're going to get a kind of effect that looks like this. Now to make this stretched out, you can bring the X out a little more to get kind of effect like this. Okay, kind of like lines, kind of a cool effect. So now we're going to go to our color B. I'm going to keep my color A at, at black, but if you see, you can change it, and you can change the background. Actually, this is basically like the full color. It doesn't really change the background as much as it would change the whole thing. But anyway, we're not going to mess with the background right now. You can, but it's your, it's your opinion, whatever looks good for you. But for color B, I'm going to make this look kind of bluish turquoise -ish. Kind of like uh, that. Um, right around. That's good. Okay, now we're gonna go to the timeline, which is basically where you can keyframe and everything. We're not gonna be keyframing too much. We're just gonna be making one keyframe. What a keyframe is is this little diamond thing, and basically what you do can you basically those are your animation keyframes, I guess you could say. You basically animate with these little diamonds. So they're really useful, and they can mean a lot to Sony Vegas when you're doing big editing. 
Okay, so what we want to do is go to the end, or take this scrolling slash, I don't know, timeline bar, take that to the end, and take the progress in degrees bar and bring that all the way up. Now, if we watch the video, it's going to make a kind of a wavy, cool template that you would have seen in like a video copilot, video streams, HD, you know, video. It's a really cool effect, and I really think that this this is just one of the coolest things you can do in Vegas, and I really like it. You can change the clip speed by holding control and just dragging it. That'll make it, if you, um, dragging it in will make it faster, and dragging it out will make it slower. If you don't, if you just want to go back to the original, hit control Z, and that'll work. Okay, now, I want to add one more effect to this before we put in our text. So what, we want, what we're going to be doing is, this is actually optional, you don't really have to do this, but I like it. We're basically just going to give it a zoom in or kind of a, splot, a spotlight view of, of this, this video. So we're going to go to the event pan and crop. The event pan and crop is the kind of square that comes out with lines farther out. And that's basically <laughs> where a lot of really powerful effects come from. So this is where you see a lot of effects and tutorials for those effects. You're going to see this window in a lot of tutorials for Sony Vegas. Now we're going to go down to the position and the mask tool and we're going to check the mask tool which basically allows us to edit masking and stuff. Now this is a pro feature in Sony Vegas so just be aware that you need a, you need to be pro to have this available. Now go to the anchor creation tool which will allow you to make things negative and positive which I'll explain later in the video. Okay now to scroll out or zoom out you use the scrolling wheel and the zoom in you do the exact opposite. Okay and what we're going to be doing is just making a little kind of you could call a fisheye lens around the video. Very similar if you don't know what a fisheye lens is it's basically like a kind of like an oval shape of a video. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but you don't have to make it too pick, like perfect. If you mess up really badly, you can hit Control Z twice or as many times as you want just to go back to the or need actually to, just to go back to the part that you need to fix and select or connect everything so you get a nice mask. If you don't connect everything and nothing's going to go into place. Now we're gonna get something like this where we have angles cut out and kinda like this. It, it looks okay but it can look a lot better. So we're gonna go to the path selection and go to our feather type. Make our feather type in and set the feather type to about 21 or maybe 20. That's good. Now it's gonna look a little off, it all depends how your editing went, but it, it, it looks okay, you know, I could have done a little better with the cropping, but, you know, you're, no one's perfect. And that looks pretty good, I like that effect. Now it's time for our text, so to insert text, we're gonna right click and insert a video track. Now go to back to our media generators and find text. Now find soft shadow and just put that right on top. You can use any of the presets, but I really like soft shadow because it gives a nice little shadow and blends in with the background. And we're just going to type in our basic text. We're going to make it maybe maybe about 36. Okay. And maybe make the font I don't know. Okay, so we're just going to leave it as Arial. I don't really want to mess with things too much. Alright, and, you know, you can go through placement, which basically just, you know, moves the text. Um, properties, the text color, I'm not going to mess with that too much. But I really want to get into effects and show you the power of the effects tool. So, go to the outline, and just, I, I'm just going to change this to maybe a dark red. And if we check dark outline, or draw outline, we're going to get kind of an effect like this. Now, we have two options right here, feather and width. So if we go to feather, it'll make it a little less noticeable. But if we bring our width up a little bit, it'll make it very noticeable. So they balance off of each other. Now the shadows are a very awesome, cool feature too. So if we take our feather, make it maybe a black color, which blends in perfectly. We'll make the feather all the way up, 
uh, maybe bring it down. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a very light, or a very, very, very small feather, but it works, and it, it's very effective for your video. I'm not going to make it too big and too noticeable in this video, and I don't think my screen capture we're gonna, is going to get that, but, you know, whatever. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I hope this tutorial helps, and, you know, I'm just showing you the basics in Sony Vegas and showing you how you can re what the real powers of Sony Vegas are is and everything. And this is I just you know was just showing you some cool effects and what you can do in Sony Vegas. You know it, it's a really nice program. I recommend it to anybody. And I'll yeah I, that's basically wraps up the tutorial today. That's awesome. Thanks guys, and I'll I'll see you later. Bye.